Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a video about hair today. I know I don't post often about hair, but I used to on my blog a lot because I love my hair. <laughs> I get a lot of compliments and uh, I wanted to share with you my summer hair care routine. One of the things I look forward the most of summer is not having to dry my hair. It's long, it takes a long time to dry, so I don't want to dry it with a, with a hair dryer and I'm also not really that capable with a hair dryer. So the best thing is summer, warm air, let them air dry and I have a few products specifically to achieve these waves that uh, look so natural because they are. I don't have particularly wavy hair of my own. If uh, I go to the beach, they'll come nice and uh, um, wavy. And when I have them short, they, they actually curl up a little bit more. But for long hair, it's actually important to use some products to help it to keep some uh, bounce and get some waves in it. And I think I found the combos that I like best. First things first, it's not a salt spray. Salt sprays I have used in the past and to be honest, it was really, really drying on the ends of my hair and uh, it was never really a good thing. Salt absorbs water and moisture and if you have long hair, you know, you want to have that in your hair and especially for waves and curls, you want hydrated hair and not dry one. Otherwise it looks frizzy and just not pretty. So to talk a little bit about my hair, I have really oily roots. I um, color my hair by myself for a very long time. I had a small interruption when I was uh, modeling for Joico and they were doing my hair color, but that has been now a few years and unfortunately that is not the case anymore. Now I color my hair at home. I am overdue for a uh, root uh, coverage and uh, right now my hair is you can see my mic around under my boots which is long i know i've been thinking about cutting it for a long time but my husband loves it long i still love it long i kept it very long for the wedding and now i just can't bring myself to cut it so um yeah i care for it already in the shower the first things i use are my joico k-pack color therapy shampoo and conditioner and these um, definitely are something geared to keep my color happy. So these are the products, this the shampoo especially, that um, prevent my hair color from bleeding out too fast. Red is a terrible color for uh, longevity, as bad as pastels, let's say. It really, really fades out. You can see how my hair is actually quite uh, coppery and uh, with some blonde tips even and that is because where it was bleached for the wedding for the balayage um, it lost all of its color because the red really bleeds out of the hair. The Joico set really really helps and uh, it helps with preventing the color from bleeding and as well as uh, cold water which in summer is actually great to shower in cooler water rather than hot water. Then what I do once in a while, and I would say once a week or once every two weeks, is uh, do this um, Revlon Nutri-Color uh, treatment. And this is a conditioner and color depositing one. So this is in the shade 600 Fire Red, which is a warm tone red. And uh, I put this in my hair, leave it for a few minutes while I exfoliate, shave, wash, the rest of my body and this really deposits some fiery red uh, color which is really really nice because it won't make your color your dark hair the uh, a very fiery red unless it's bleached so i actually revive the balayage effect by um, re-dyeing let's say my lighter bits in a very fiery red whereas my roots just get a little bit more uh, depth in their red rather than looking more brown and that is in the shower and that is about color and about health of the hair and mo another important tip is to use a comb in the shower if you want to have curls and to keep your curls looking fabulous let's say you should brush through them while you're in the shower with water and not while you're outside and that is because then you uh, you can get all of the knots out i also get all of my dead hair out with a very white tooth 
comb that I just, I have a small one, I, I left it in my shower, but you just comb through the hair, let it all rinse out with the conditioner and uh, it, it prevents too much damage from uh, brushing it with uh, uh, while it's wet, let's say, um, and it prevents your uh, curls from getting flattened, let's say. So that I do in the shower. Then when I step out, I put my hair in a cotton uh, towel. One of these hammam towels that uh, they sell now, at least in the Netherlands, they're everywhere, but in a smaller format. That is a very soft uh, cotton. I'm not rubbing my hair. I literally putting my head upside down, putting it in a turban and then just leaving it on my head. And that takes care of taking the biggest part of my uh, moisture out and also uh, by twirling the hair in the turban it also starts creating waves. I really like that and I am like that while I moisturize my body and do other things outside of the shower. Then when it's time to actually work with my hair I will take the turban out and with my hair wet I do not um, brush it or uh, comb it and I go in with the Joico K-Pack Color Therapy Luster Lock Multi Perfector Daily Shine and Protector Spray that's a lot of words but this uh, acts both as a color uh, protector it brings um, shine to your hair as well as UV protectant and that is important for me and for my color um, I'm not extremely um, diligent with UV protection on my hair. Only when I go on holidays I buy one of those uh, UV protecting sprays because at the beach then you're there for many hours in the sun but on a daily life I am in the sun I don't know maybe an hour a day uh, while I cycle to work, cycle back and during my lunch break let's say. So this is usually enough. This is the mini size I wanted a giveaway of, those, of them, but I've, I've been really liking it in combination with everything else. I think it just gives me an extra layer of um, finish to the hair. And this I just spray to my wet hair and let it be. Then I go in with the Elvive Sika Pear um, Leave-In Cream. And this is a restoring cream. They say you can already fix one year of damage with a one application. I don't know about that. I put a, I would say cherry tomato sized on my hand, a bit smaller even, a small cherry tomato size on my hand, uh, warm it in and then uh, go through my hair to put the, the cream especially let's say from here down so middle to ends and this I feel has really really improved my hair. It feels less dry to the ends, less dry. It actually does really good and I use it now after every shower. They don't actually say uh, that you have to use it only once in a while. It's not a mask, you can just leave it in. It contains calendula extract as well as ceramide um, to uh, repair the hair. I know you cannot repair split tips for example but you can help closing the um, scales of the hair and make it look more healthy. I, I've been using it now for more than a month or two and I've been really loving it. Uh, I definitely recommend this one if you have long hair that you feel is a little bit um, damaged. And now for the finishing part. This has all been um, care for the hair and just giving it love and attention and then what I found is actually a uh, styling product that works for curly hair and it's not a, a salt spray. This is the L'Oreal Stylista Curls, uh, the curl tonic and um, this gives definition, rebound and brilliance without alcohol and it doesn't become hard. This is my last step and this I spray uh, with my head upside down all around let's say from mid, again middle to end but also I don't spray anything in my roots because they're quite oily but I spray this all over my hair and uh, I've been using it quite a bit it's uh, it, I didn't use a lot apparently which is great and this is drugstore prices so you can just go get it use it finish it buy it again but I've been loving this this I as I said I spray everywhere on my um, wet hair and then I scrunch and then you scrunch and then you scrunch and this is what will create your waves or keep the hair together to create those waves. 
Then, to be honest, I uh, put on clothes, jump on my bike and cycle to work. And then this is the effect um, after the day. So I washed my hair this morning. I just came back from work. Actually, it's like 7.30 in the evening but that's details and uh, this is the effect of my hair i really wanted to make this video today to show you because um i don't know i just love the way it is like this so this will last me like this for a few days definitely until my next uh, uh, wash and uh, it doesn't really get that dry if you feel like your hair is getting dry what i use is a little bit of hair oil or a little bit of this cream or if it's bad, a very, very, very tiny bit of coconut oil. Now I have a big tub here and um, uh, I use coconut oil as a mask. So what I typically do actually on Saturday mornings, I like to go to the gym early. So what I do is I either the night before apply coconut oil all over my hair and then go to the gym and then wash my hair. Um, or I just put it on in the morning before going to the gym I uh, have a ponytail and a, and a braid so that my hair is all greasy but nobody can see it <laughs> and then I come home it's been on for an, one and a half hours or so and uh, then wash it all off the coconut oil uh, will not do miracles in repairing your hair but it will definitely help with moisture and hydration of the hair I love it it's uh, something that's been a staple in my uh, hair care routine for a long time there are multiple other masks you can do and things like that, but the cheapest and very effective one is just coconut oil. And you can use this, as I said, also in between washes. If your ends look, feel very, very dry, just apply the tiniest bit so that you don't look greasy. And that is how I achieve my uh, summer waves. Uh, they don't look like this in winter because I blow dry them and I don't achieve these waves when I blow dry my hair. It's just, they just come out straight. So I actually really, really love them in summer when naturally they are like this. I'm not a big fusser with drying my hair with a, with a, with a brush or curling it with a curling iron. I do that for special occasions, but not on a regular basis. So I love when my hair can be itself, be pretty with just air or a little bit of blow dryer, but this is just air. Now that I am super warm because it's 25 degrees and this hair is massive, I can put back my ah, big clamp and go about my day. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you um, liked hearing how I take care of my hair. Um, I will link down below the products I use and uh, let me know if this was useful at all to you or if you have any questions. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to my channel if you don't want to miss future videos and I will see you in the next one. Bye!